And what's going on? Fontaine here, VIPSoundLab.com. And I'm on a tutorial video. This time, this is just some tips and tricks on how to fix a missing sample. Now, this won't help you as far as fixing miss missing samples that have um, individual file names. This is more or less geared towards when you're slicing and chopping uh, and editing your samples. Uh, I had a question in regards to someone was chopping some samples up and they were losing the files uh, in here. Something about machine was overriding the files, the something sound effect. So I'm going to show you one little quick little um, tip that might be able to help you out. So what I did was I have a sample here and what I did was uh, in, inside the sample folder for this kit, I erased some of the other um, files. So then that way it will give me the missing samples message. And I'm going to show you a, a quick little trick that you can do to actually fix this. So one thing you can do, for example, let, let me just go ahead and click on this. Now, as you can see right here, it's saying that it's missing some samples. And then over here, it has all these like little question marks and and all that good stuff. And has like one sample uh, right here on sound 10. Okay. So what, what you can do, for example, you can click over here where it says locate. Okay. And here is the sample folder. Now, when you save your files as a group file, think of that as like a preset. Okay. It's basically saving all your settings and all your samples when you're saving uh, your group file with all the sounds and machines puts them in this folder here. If you notice, you look at this uh, particular sample right here. Notice how the main name of it matches what's up here. The only thing that's different is see how it has this little hyphen right here. Then it says 10, meaning, okay, that must have been on sound 10. So remember when I said you're just basically saving everything as a preset machine is just saving your settings. Okay. It remembers what you have. So when you get this missing sample uh, message up here, it's just basically saying, hey, look, I can't find what was inside the folder. That's all. So I can take this file right here. I'm going to control C that copy that. I'm going to paste the copy in here. You notice how it says copy right here. I'm going to right click on this copy. Now check it out. Here, here's where the trick comes in. I call this NI magic. I'm just going to type a 10 right there, basically matching what this is. So now I'm going to trick machine. I'm going to select on this. I'm tricking it because it's going to take this file and think that this copy is this here. Okay. So now I'm going to trick machine, press open on that. Now it goes to the next file. It's saying, Hey, look, I need sound 11. I'm going to go back. I'm going to make another copy here. The process repeats. I'm going to rename this one 11. Again, I'm tricking machine. I'm tricking it. I'm making it think that it has the file. Now it wants to <clears throat> copying that, pasting that. I'm home by the way. So if you hit the TV in the background, tricky machine, locate. And it's going to rename that. Put the one there. Press open. I'm going to give it the three now. Now I want four. Basically, you're getting an idea here. You're seeing what I'm doing, but you know, just be patient with me because it's wanting a lot of samples in here. Four. Okay. Now I want five. So basically, I'm just giving machine what it wants or what I took out of this folder. Okay. Oop, I redaped that wrong. That's why that Windows gave me that message. I don't know why I'm on Windows uh, 8.1. And for whatever reason, if you change the file, if you don't put that little dot right there, it starts like tripping out. What is the name of that file? Oh, duh, six. Seven. I should have chose something that doesn't have so many files in it. Mm. 
Okay, let's do eight. Okay, there's eight. Nine. All right, there we go. So we did them all. This MIDI pattern in the back, I don't need that. So now you see that all the missing samples are now gone because I renamed the files. Okay, so now you notice when I go through this like this, notice over there how everything is completely different in here. It's remembering the settings because remember, remember when I said, okay, when you right click here, let's say I press save with samples like this here and wherever I have that file saved, okay, that these files here your group files just think of these as like presets okay machine is going to remember whatever it is that you did at the time before you had the missing samples that's why the only thing i did was copy and paste the same sample over and over and over because the file name is the same so now you see that when i'm going through the sounds it's remembering the presets in here i haven't done anything why because the original file here is remembering what was already in here so i hope that makes sense man that should cure your problem with any missing samples um again this is just a trick i call it i call it ni magic uh it's just something that i came across i figured i'd share with you you know if you have a headache like that and you you know have some missing samples that is the easy way to fix that all right so then from that point you would just right click here you know save your project with your sample so then that way it's going to resave your samples in a new location you know because all these little file names have different names here see over there it's three four five six seven whatever the case may be so you just basically you save it all over again and from that point you should be good to go so if you have any questions or concerns hit me up it's your boy fontaine vipsoundlab.com i will see you guys on the next one peace